All right, I'm here with Mark Coffin. He's uh, the senior manager of the forum for the Cybersecurity Forum Initiative. Good morning, Mark. How you doing? Morning, Anthony. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Uh, let's see, a lot of folks uh, might not be familiar with what CSFI does. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. CSFI stands for the Cybersecurity Forum Initiative. It's a professional forum on LinkedIn. Uh, deals with all things related to cybersecurity, offense, defense, IT. If it's cyber, uh, you're in the right forum. So it's a large nonprofit uh, organization that's been developed to help build in, uh, partnerships between public and private organizations and individuals in an effort to enhance uh, cybersecurity understanding and uh, with that sharing help increase uh, uh, our ability to better defend ourselves in the cyberspace realm and then just a good p place to go and interact and socialize with other professionals who have a common interest in cyber. And, and, and how long has uh, CSFI been around? Uh, CSFI was stood up in uh, 2009, uh, I think March of 2009. I joined in May of 2009. Okay, and uh, uh, how many members do we have now? We're about uh, 24,000 uh, members in the forum. Uh, they come from uh, 48 states uh, and the District of Columbia. 126 different uh, countries so you can tell we have a good international flavor and what's the benefit of that is that uh, uh, individuals from around the world post a variety of articles that you would never see otherwise and so by this we are enhancing everyone's understanding of what else is taking place in the world and hopefully empowering ourselves with knowledge of how to better work in this realm we call cyberspace and, and, uh, and what's the breadth of the membership what, what kind of folks would be interested in getting involved with CSFI I have students who have no uh, background whatsoever in cyber they're, just, they're going in, they want to learn it at college or uh, whatever it might be. I have individuals who are retirees uh, who have been in the business and now just want to kind of keep up to date on what's going on. And then I have a large and diverse population of both professionals and non-professionals who just like cyberspace operations. Offense, defense, exploitation, IT, you name it, they like it and they're involved. And because it's such a wide and diverse uh, top area, you get a large and diverse population and uh, you get the benefits of having that and you develop a lot of contacts, engage and interact, converse, carry out some good intellectual discourse and uh, help develop your own understanding uh, of this uh, realm we call cyberspace. Uh, what, what kind of networking opportunities are there? Oh, uh, it's outstanding as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm, I'm quite surprised at the amount of people who contact me. Now of course I am the manager and I have been for several years but I'm, I'm having people drop me uh, notes about uh, things they see online they're concerned about, sensitive information. I have individuals offer me zero days uh, or vulnerabilities that they found and don't know who to report to. So, um, as you can see, it's a powerful tool uh, for increasing overall understanding and hopefully being able to correct deficiencies that other people find in our systems. Okay, and what other kinds of uh, things do uh, does CSFI offer? Uh, training and, and whatnot? Yeah, um, the Cyber Secure for Security Forum is a nonprofit. Uh, you know, we are online at CSFI.us. Uh, on, on the internet, you can look us up. Um, the intent is to increase overall understanding of cyberspace, and as part of that nonprofit work, uh, we actually conduct training um, both at the individual level, group level, and nation state level uh, on cyberspace operations, mostly defensive. Right, with some overviews of offensive material, but uh, we worked with Spain and the country of Georgia, Estonia, Israel, uh, our United States, of course, and others um, to do this training and also to uh, spread understanding of cyberspace. And, and since you guys are a nonprofit, uh, you know you depend on uh, partners uh, partnering up with organizations. Uh, for your financial Absolutely. Support. We have what's called gold sponsorship, uh, different levels. Uh, those are individuals who will uh, give the uh, CSFI uh, equipment, uh, facility space, or other types of resourcing to, uh, to help us uh, do the job. Um, a lot of it's done remotely, i.e. Uh, groups are brought together through collaborative tools uh, to do online research and develop product. At the same time, our training is done face-to-face uh, -face and in-person, uh, so these resources help us uh, to bring this training together and uh, be able to produce it and provide a good product to the individuals who are the consumers. And, and what kind of organizations might be uh, interested in getting involved with you? Well, we, we've worked with the Department of Defenses from, and Ministries of Defenses from a number of countries in regards to um, 
doing cyberspace operations uh, type training, uh, most recently in Spain, uh, and before that Georgia, uh, some ongoing efforts now with Israel, and of course uh, we continue to do training within the United States. We've also worked with some of the military service uh, personnel uh, just to kind of give them some additional training uh, to get a feel for what we can provide because we are so diverse uh, that uh, they might not get other, other places and at a lower cost. And then, uh, you know, we can also get into the commercial sectors as far as uh, just helping people understand uh, other elements of cyberspace. Because if I'm an IT guy, I focus on IT. I see only IT. I'm kind of narrow, narrow vision. There's a lot of other things going on in the cyberspace realm outside of just IT. And so that training brings into uh, these other things, so you can understand how the, they integrate with one another and affect one another. It's kind of like understanding the second and third level order of effects. Uh, and when you take actions in cyberspace, there's always going to be an effect on something else. And this training helps you to understand. Uh, how you interact and what those effects uh, are that are caused by that interaction. And, and what's the best way for folks to get uh, more information about CSFI? Well, one, you can go to the website www.csfi.us, right? Uh, type it into your URL browser, or you can go on LinkedIn, join, uh, and then request uh, to join the Cybersecurity Forum Initiative. Uh, I'm one of the guys who will obviously uh, uh, authorize that, and so please join us. Come in, search. Uh, if you want to, don't have to say anything. Uh, just enjoy what's being posted, and when you feel comfortable with us, feel free to post yourself, and we'll go from there. Excellent. Mark Coffin, uh, Cybersecurity Forum Initiative. Thanks for taking the time out this morning, Mark. Thanks, Anthony. Have a good DEF CON. You too.